Let's solve this very simple exercise. A certain voltage in a circuit is described by this equation, a differential equation. 4 dV dt plus 2V equals 10. There are three questions. First, what is the time constant of this circuit? Well, we know that in an equation like this, the response is going to be an exponential. Vt is going to be an exponential writing on top of its final value constant. And the time constant of dk, or increase of voltage, is going to be given by this coefficient divided by this one. The time constant is 4 divided by 2, and that is going to be 2 seconds. The answer to question A, tau, is coefficient 4 divided by coefficient 2, 2 seconds. Question B. What is the voltage at infinity, the final value of V then? At infinity, the value is 10 divided by 2. We also saw that in class. The final value of that voltage is 10 divided by 2. 5 volts. That's good. Finally, part C. If the initial voltage, the voltage at 0 is 2, Find V as a function of T for T greater part C. The voltage as a function of time for T greater than 0 is going to be final value is going to be 5. And then an exponential that goes initial value 2 minus final value 5. Exponential negative T divided by the time constant 2 seconds. You want to write that better? Sure. That's going to be 5 minus 3 e to the negative t over 2 volts. And that is the expression. You want to draw it. And then we start with an initial value of 2 volts and a final value of 5. Initial value is 2 and final value is 5 volts. This is v as a function of t. The final value is t. The initial value is 2, and the voltage raises like that with a time constant of 2 seconds. And this is this curve. Let's do another exercise. This exercise reads like this. A current in a circuit is described by the following equation. 6di dt plus 3i equals 2. The question is to find i as a function of time for t greater than 0. And we know that the initial value of that current is 5 amps. Well, immediately we say the final value of this current is going to be 2 divided by 3. So the final value of that current is going to be 2 thirds of an amp. And the time constant will be 6 divided by 3. 6 divided by 3, 2 seconds. So that is a current that starts at 5, ends at 2 thirds of an amp, and changes values with this time constant. Graphically, we can represent it like this. Initial value is 5 for that current as a function. We can write that current, I of t, as final value two-thirds of an amp plus an exponential with an initial value of five minus a final value two-thirds and a time constant of two seconds. Well, you can beautify that expression a little bit like this. And this is the current we are looking for. Thank you very much.